Hello, I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Cody. And welcome back to J Reeves. Cody, what do you like to do for fun? I like to go out on beautiful sunny days and fly kites. Really? That's interesting. Isn't it? Cody, what if I told you we had a video about kites? I'd be really excited. Where is the kite? It's right behind you. Where is it? Right there. Oh, there it is. Thank you. Did you know that the kite is a popular toy that was created centuries ago? The designs and purpose of the kite has changed since the, its creation. It was once used for military purposes as well as toys and even battle flags. Kites were invented in China. Ancient and medieval Chinese sources describe kites being used for measuring distances, testing the wind, lifting men, signaling, and communication for military operations. Right now we're setting up a kite right here, how to make it, and we're going to teach you how to fly it. That was beautiful. Cody, you worry me sometimes. What you really should be worried about is my love for jelly beans. They're so beany and jellyful. While you think of your love for jelly beans, here's a video of your one and only true love. April 22nd is National Jelly Bean Day. These colorful beans first became popular in the early 1900s. It's believed a man known as William Scraft began to make them during the Civil War as a snack for the soldiers. Jelly beans come in assorted flavors, originally coming in only eight. Now, there's over 50 official flavors. Just like anything, there are flaws in production of jelly beans. Rather than be discarded, Jelly Belly sells these flawed beans at, at a discounted price, known as belly flops. This classic candy has been loved for over a century and will be loved for many, many more years to come. How touching. Look here! Ah! What's that? Cody, that's a sky. Oh, I wasn't aware. Our next video is all about sky awareness, so you don't end up like Cody. Hey, do you wonder what's in the sky? Well, it's quite simple. A lot. But what kind of wonders are in our skies? Well, like I said, a lot. April 20th to 26th is Sky Awareness Week. Why? Let me explain. Sky Awareness Week, also known as National Dark Sky Week, was founded in 2003 by high school student Jennifer Bello of Midlothian, Virginia. That's right, a high school student. But why was it created? Jennifer was trying to promote the view of the night sky and trying to stop the air and the light pollution of the world. Cities, people can't watch the beautiful skies because of light pollution. So people turn the lights off and look in the sky at night. This became a worldwide sensation immediately. But that's at night. What happens in the morning? The blue skies seem to be different. Some people watch the skies because of space junk falling to earth, especially satellites. Do you know how many satellites are in this space? Well, it's not 100 and it's not 500 but approximately 3,000 satellites. Roughly, there are 8,000 man-made objects in total. According to NASA, some objects are actually space junk. In its entire history, the SSN has tracked more than 24,500 space objects orbiting the Earth. The majority of these have fallen to unstable orbits and incinerated during re-entry. In other words, lots of space junk burn and disappear when they enter the Earth. But there are also some objects that do not belong to Earth. People have seen meteors passing by and other people have seen identifying flying objects or UFOs. The phenomenon has been going on since the 1960s and even since then, the witnesses keep watching on the skies. 
Sky Awareness Week can be from fighting against pollution or the mysteries of the UFO and falling on meteors. So enjoy Sky Awareness Week and look up. How informative. I agree. Hey Elizabeth, how's your vocabulary? Um, decent. Why? Because this month is Dictionary Month. Check out this video and let's all work on our vocabulary at the same time. Cold-blooded vertebrates. Vertebrates belong to a phylum called chordata. All chordates have a nodal cord, a stiff rod running down the middle of their back. And vertebrates, this nodal cord has developed during an evolution into a chain of bony segments, forming a backbone or spine. Each spine bone is called a vertebra. What could a vertebra be? Hmm, he has a dictionary. Can I help you? Um, why yes. I'm having trouble with this word. And as you have a dictionary, you could probably help me. Alright, let me see what I can do. Hmm. Oh, here it is. Phylum. A taxonomic rank below kingdom, compromising a class or classes and subordinate taxa? Ah, uh, now I know. It makes sense now. Thanks a lot. Anytime. That's why you should carry around a dictionary. They're really handy. Thank you. Cody, have I ever told you I like your sense of humor? <laughs> well, thanks. You're welcome. Here's a video that should tickle your funny bone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> April is National Humor Month. Laughter is described as an audible expression or appearance of merriment or happiness, or an inward feeling of joy or pleasure, laughing on the inside. It may ensue from jokes, tickling, and other stimuli. Strong laughter can sometimes bring on onset of tears or moderate muscular pain. Researchers have categorized the five types of humor as puns. Hey, did you hear about that guy who got hit in the head with a can of soda? He was, he was lucky it was a soft drink. Not everyone's a fan of it. Exaggeration. Will you remember me in a second? Yes. Will you remember me in a minute? Yes. Will you remember me in a day? Yes. Will you remember me in a year? Yes. Will you remember me in a decade? Yes. Will you remember me in a century? Yes. Knock, knock. Who's there? I thought you said you wouldn't forget. Surprise, silliness, and put downs. What? Did you think I'd have one for all of them? I'm no comedian, but you should look some up. Laughter is the best medicine. <laughs> Hilarious. Hey, Elizabeth. Yes, Cody? What's your favorite car? Hmm, I don't know. Why? Because this month is Ford Mustang Month! Let's take a look at these beautiful vehicles. Most people don't understand that the Mustang is a wild animal that just wants to be free. There is no taming this stallion. The Mustang is a real man's car. Um, excuse me? What are you doing? Who are you? Sorry. woman's car too. Look at this beautiful piece of machinery. It is a monster, or better yet, a Mustang. Can I drive it? No, you creep. Now I want one. We all do, Elizabeth. We all do. So, do you like birds? Hmm, I don't know. Why? Because this month is Draw Bird Month. What does that even mean? Who knows? Let's find out. Hey, what are you doing? Drawing a bird. A bird? Why? Well, don't you know what today is? Um, no. What's today? Draw a bird day. Draw a bird day? You're kidding me, right? No, I'm not. Well, how do you celebrate that? Well, it's simple. Just draw a bird and share it with whoever you want. You draw a bird just to so show someone a little happiness. Oh. Well, who are you giving it to? A friend. Oh. You should draw one. But I can't even draw a heart. <laughs> Here you go. But I thought you were giving it to your best friend. Exactly.
So Cody, I hear you play the tuba. And very well at that. Well, here's something you'll like. The month of May is dedicated to the best instrument around, the tuba. While some believe that their petty guitar can get the job done, it's clear that the tuba is superior. So in the month of May, grab a tuba and learn how to play. That was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen ever. I know, Cody, I know. It's okay to cry. Oh, gosh. There, there. We still have some videos from the introductory class. Let's check them out. Hey guys, have y'all ever just taken a moment to look up at the sky? What do you, what do you mean? mean? Every year in April, there's Sky Awareness Week. It's a time where people look up at the sky and they can see the shapes illustrated in the clouds. Wow, oh, that's cool. Not only do people see the clouds, some learn how to read the sky and get a better understanding of details in the clouds. So many people who do this find it fun. This sounds cool. I never noticed that you could learn all that from just looking at the sky. No, girl. I might just have to take a moment and look at the sky and see if I can find the hidden shapes. Not only are you able to see messages out in the sky, but the, the growing flowers and all the details and then the reflection from the sky make it look beautiful. I'd like to tell you a story, a story of a man, a boy really, who learned of an obscure holiday known only as High Five Day. He got the idea in his head that he could use it as an excuse to touch a girl's hand, but not just any girl, the girl of his dreams. But his attempt takes him to a place where no man should be. It takes him to the High Five Zone. Hey baby, it's high five day. You know what that means? Get to touch your hand. Come on, give me some. No? Hey, please let me touch your hand. Come back. In summation, always be careful who you attempt to high five. You may find yourself in the high five zone. Holocaust, a word that brings many emotions to people. According to the Merriam-Webster dictionary, the word Holocaust has a meaning of the killings of millions of Jews and other people by the Nazis during World War II. This war is mostly remembered because of all the innocent people that died. Holocaust Remembrance Day is a day to remember the Holocaust. It begins at sunset on the 27th of the Hebrew month of Nisan, also known as the month of April. This day should remind people what can happen when bigotry, hatred, and indifference occurs. We remember those who fought, those who suffered, and those who died. For more information on this day, check out the book, The Diary of Anne Frank, or for more dramatic view, watch the movie Schindler's List. For years, deaf parents have raised hearing children, a task made easier all the time by modern technology. Aunt Kenya! What? <laughs> what? I don't what? know what she said. Can what? you help me? She said, uh, what you think? Oh, uh, what you think? I don't know. That's why I was asking her. I don't know. That's reason. Hearing children of deaf parents also play a major role in the carrying on of deaf culture. It is they who often become interpreters or teachers of the deaf.
Welcome to J Indian TV. My name is Joy. Our first story tonight is about International Guitar Month. It is a celebration of guitars and guitar product that has been celebrated every April since 1987. I'm sitting here with fellow guitar lover, Talisha Summer. Thank you for being here. If you could sum up the guitar in one word, what would you put that word at? Well, thank you for having me, Joy. And that one word is... Magnificent. My first instrument was an Odessa acoustic guitar, and it was given to me by my late grandfather. I love the sound that a guitar puts out. Do you agree? Yes, I do agree. When my dad played his electric guitar, it plays perfect. It can never be better. Well, thank you, Talisha, for being here and telling us a little bit about guitars and the, the sound of them. So pick up a guitar and play it like you never have before. Even if you're bad at it, do it anyway. Have a good time and enjoy yourself. This has been Joy taking you on a musical adventure with Talisha Summer. From all of us at J and &M TV, good night, everybody. Just like you have a birthday, these little things called jelly beans have a special day as well. Red because it reminds me of a red ball. Yellow because it's very lemony. I like blue because it reminds me of the ocean. Why did jelly beans come so popular? Well, it started off with William Scraft. During the Civil War, he used to send off jelly beans to the Union soldiers because he thought that they wouldn't be thinking about the pain anymore. Why? It's just jelly beans. Well, I guess he thought that by sending jelly beans to them, they wouldn't be thinking about all the gangrene around them. Is it true that President Reagan really ate jelly beans? Yes, he made them popular as well. So ever since then, presidents have been eating jelly beans. So you eat a jelly bean yourself. Hey, do you know they able to Hey, happy Jelly Bean Day! This year will be the 11th annual High Five Day. High Five Day was started in 2002 by a group of students at the University of Virginia. They had been giving out lemonade and high fives. Hey, Elizabeth. Hey, Gloria. Thank you. Hi, I'm Austin, and I. Uh, for National Pet Month, I would like to talk to you a little bit about my pet. It's a uh, golden retriever that I got back in about 2006. It's a female and it's had a couple of litters here and there. Um, I really like it and I've grown fond of it. This is Astrid and she is part Dodson and part Griffinshire and she will be a year old on March the 31st. She loves to go to the park and walk. Mostly she drags me around the park. She loves to run and jump and play. She likes to chase her yellow tennis ball. She really loves treats, all different kinds of treats. I do sneak her a little bite of this and that sometimes. Every pet owner knows that pets are not a possession, they are a family member. And if you haven't adopted a pet, don't wait. There's a lot of pets. There's dogs, cats, fish, many pets you could adopt. This is National Pet Month, so we brought Astrid to school so that she could be a guest. And um, we hope everybody loves your pets. Be sure to spay and neuter your pets and uh, be sure and show them lots of love and attention. And, mm -hmm. and remember, give them a special treat and enjoy National Pet Month. Mm -hmm. Around 25.8 million Americans have type 2 diabetes. Now, type 2 diabetes is when the pancreas does not produce enough insulin. Although at times, people can be very careless with food choices, but dieting and exercise is a way to prevent type 2 diabetes. I'm not saying the candy bar every now and then is deadly, but two of the day we should do the trick. Instead of always choosing candy for snacks, never forget they always produce sugar-free snacks, which are just as tasty and more affordable. When I doubt about your sugar level, always check it with the handy-dandy glucose meter. They sting a little bit, but what is life without pain? 
Thank you for your time, people, and be safe. April 26th is National Pretzel Day. Pretzels are made from dough, which is formed in a nut-like shape and baked till crispy brown. According to Wikipedia, pretzels originated in Europe, most likely in monasteries in the early Middle Ages. Back in the 12th century, bakeries and their guilds or organizations used pretzels for emblems in southern Germany. In some countries, people wear pretzels around their necks for celebration. No matter what you do at your pretzel, remember, April 26th is National Pretzel Day. Hey guys, this month on April 9th, it's Zipper Day. The zipper was invented by Whitcomb Jepson. It is said that in 1891, his first attempt was made, and that this attempt was for shoes, but not specifically for his shoes. Zippers were actually designed for many other varieties. But as you can see, people always carry a sweater or a jacket and notice that most of what they carry have a zipper. But as you can see around places, people carry a sweater or a jacket. Some are just plain and simple and some carry zippers, but most likely they carry a zipper. Hey look, even my sweater has a zipper. Zippers are likely popular. Also zippers are found in your backpack other accessories such as these bags, sweaters like I said, and wallets, purses, and jeans. Well guys, next time you go shopping for a sweater or any accessory, make sure it has a zipper and not buns. Zippers are way much faster. Well that was all for this time. I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Cody. And, and this, this was Jay Briefs. Briefs.